Yo, we back? Insane. We're gonna be playing with a little bit of infernity action, brother. A little bit of infernity action going. That's really the deck I wanted to. <laughs> Yo, big bird. Here to learn Yu-Gi-Oh! Erm... <laughs> I don't think I'm the best person to learn Yu-Gi-Oh! from, but you know, you know. But, but we're also learning Yu-Gi-Oh! here, so you know. <laughs> Decide way about going it. Yeah, we doing good, we doing good. Which I did change my Infernity deck a little bit from last time, because I finally got this bad boy. <laughs> but yeah, we got this bad boy now. So this will make our Infernity Poison a little bit better. We can use that to bring back a Necro. We can use it to bring out a Sage. We can use it to bring out these guys, my Wildcat. So it'll help a bit, it'll help a bit. And also, I got rid of Into the Void for a Torrential Tribute. This will <laughs> It's not much of a card, but... Combo, it does give me like some play potential if I have nothing. I can just set an Infernity, I have a barrier, and I can distribute everything and just destroy. <laughs> Need be. It's just a last resort kind of thing though. It's just not too important. It is not too important. Better than that, the Silver 2. We chillin'. So we did play a... Uh, <laughs> one game off stream. A little... Just a little bit... It's a little game, it's a little game. And I clicked the wrong button. Oh yeah, yeah. We have to watch a dual live thing because of the daily events. So we can do that real quick. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is very overwhelming. Can I tell you, I... I never played the Link Generation. I never played with Pendulums. And now I just have to kind of learn and deal with it. Oh, what the heck is this? This double rabbit gladiator beast, yo. Yeah, we'll just watch this for the little daily reward. Because dailies were set at like 1 p.m., I think. Which is part of the reason I'm streaming right now, is just so I can do my dailies and be like, yeah, <laughs> we're done. And then be ready for the next day, you know? At least if I'm right about that, I genuinely. I feel like it was 1 p.m. yesterday. I feel like it was 1 p.m. So I'm going to feel like an idiot if it becomes noon and then the dailies is reset. Which, by the way, I have ESG time, so it's 11.51 right now. <laughs> Just to clear that up, but... Oh, this, okay. I don't know what any of these Marin Chess cards do, to be honest. <laughs> Little children. Wow, that's you know, playing to an adult. That's crazy. I'll try and read some. What the heck? Oh, yeah, we can speed it up, yo. I'm affected by opponent sponsors. Okay, now it's even faster, so I understand less of it. Insane. <laughs> this fast enough, so I understand even less. You'd love to see it. Oh, wait, is that a quit? Wait, for this 4600? What? <laughs> what the heck? Wait, so he has a hand. He was <laughs> okay. Oh. It can do that? <laughs> that was a hand trap too. He didn't set anything either. Huh. Okay, that that was something else. <laughs> that was crazy. That was crazy. Yo, mission insane. I've never seen Marin Chess ever, so that was, uh, something. But I will give you guys at least, like, a little preview of the deck. Just a little preview.
Oh, pretty good quality. This is the deck we're running, Infernities. I guess I'm partly using that because I went live before I finished eating. Because <laughs> I made a little lunch. But yeah, we're playing Infernities. There's a combo deck that relies on getting negates down and this card that can literally negate anything if you have no cards in your hand. Of course, Lightning Storm, get rid of the back row. Ooh. A little lure. Double set, Necromancer, and the Necromancer the switch. And right now, I'm just removing my hand so we can activate our cards. Because that's really the niche of an Infernity deck. Is you can just <laughs> make so many plays, but you can only make those plays if you have no cards in your hand. And we negate that. Mr. Preston has a unique effect where you can use it on turn one if you have no cards in your hand again. So that max C was negated, and then we just summon. And whenever an Infernity Arts Fiend is special zoned with no cards in your hand, you can search for an Infernity card. We search launcher. Now we just uh, start going for big summons. Big basic summoning. But I think from there it's a little self explanatory because we're basically just doing the same loop. We're getting a card, we're getting another negate down, and then we activate Necro, get this, and then we overlay again, get our Hollow Backs, and we can loop and loop and loop. And that's basically how it works. <laughs> Can we, this card is so huge to get. It's so insanely huge. Yeah, we looping. Which I think I've got a little better at the combo from yesterday, where I was just messing it up over and over again. <laughs> he activates that. I can't negate because these are barriers. Which I probably should have not only search for barriers. I could have searched for the other one so I can negate that summon. But it doesn't matter because he tries to kill it. He can't kill my Archfiend with a Patriarch Engrave. And with this one I got. And that's basically just how the deck works. <laughs> this is the loop cards and you get big summon, big rewards, big games. <laughs> uh, Infernities aren't a brain deck. They're a... Uh, Colin Kelswer's deck from Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. <laughs> Though he doesn't really use the loop, of course. He doesn't loop it this hard. So it's a little synchro era deck, even though it doesn't really use many synchros anymore. Actually, we can use activate this, send this to Grave, and we're good. Yeah, and then we have a Transmodif- Oh, we get through Archfiend. Drawing Archfiend's a little annoying. So we special summon Wildcat. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to actually get loops going. I've. Oh, I have an idea. We can get this. We can get this, and then we can go for an arch fiend like that. Actually, we can go patriarch. And. We'll go Archfiend. Since we have no cards, since we have cards in our hand, the Archfiend doesn't activate. So now we summon Necro. You got Zark. Yeah, he's not that good because he's just like impossible to get off. So yeah, Stygian, we banish and we bring out our Archfiend. 
Now this is where the combo begins. So this deck is kind of single player. <laughs> you basically have to get all your combos and then you can make something work out of it. So yeah, we get a launcher. Activate launcher. Z summon a Duras. I probably shouldn't have put it there because that's impeding my Link monster a little bit. Then I special summon Archie. Patriarch down. As you can see, this is so uh, single player. <laughs> Casual single player gameplay. There it is. Archfiend, activate again. And yeah, there's a lot of how this deck works. You just kind of loop cards over and over again. Yeah, after his Dark Synchro days. This is what it kind of does. It just loops, you can just have no hand. And it works out, it works out. I'm actually going to go for this one, because it's a basic thing too. Summon this here. Now I loop again. <laughs> Waiting for opponent's response. So true, dude. Yeah, this is how this deck just works. You just kind of loop. You will loot bees. And he forfeits. <laughs> and yeah, that's basically the gist of the deck. You just kind of loop on people and it works out and you go and you crazy and you win sometimes. Because we may get a few single player games like that. It's because we didn't even get to see his deck. We just start turn one and we got our combo going. Even though I think I could have did that combo a little better. This is the fact that we have so many negates down. It's really hard to get past it. In general and if, especially because he revealed he had no hand traps this is a death sentence it's a little death sentence for him no oh, happy sand game also guys 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 what decks you do you think I should play next it could be really anything we still do have a fair bit of gems fair bit of gems so I am curious what I should target next. Probably not something as like this hard uh, setup as Infernities. <laughs> I just feel like I'm playing counter, counter trap, counter trap, and if I get it, I win. Probably not a deck similar to that, even though I do really like playing Infernities. Synchros? <laughs> this is my Synchro deck, bro. What do you mean? You know, my favorite uh, 5D's era arts type Infernities. What synchro arts types are there anymore though? Crystrons? You see we have synchros. See it's good enough, right? It's good enough. I'm actually gonna look. What synchro cards? What do we have? Of course we have a lot of infernities. Oh yeah, we have Shiranui. Shiranui's could be fun. Zombie deck. And zombies are general pretty decent. 
Xyz. Yeah, we'll probably have a lot of Xyz summoning. Because this is really a lot of an Xyz deck, if you think about it. <laughs> um, oh yeah, Sheer Nui. I would be making more synchro plays with this deck if I had this card. Like, this card's insane. <laughs> like, look at this. If this card is synchro summon, you can equip one Link Monster from your graveyard to this card, and it gains half of its attack. So it goes, like, ridiculously stacked and has a negate on top of it. Like, that's the perfect card for the kind of deck I have here. But unfortunately, we don't have it. <laughs> I could generate it, but I don't want to yet. It would probably be value, though. It would probably be value. But yeah, we don't have a little Boral load. Yeah, it's so goddamn good. Which I had a duel earlier where we uh, kind of just got by it until they just they forgot what my uh, trap card did and they activated the effect and I just barriered it. Cause I have like not a I don't really have a good way to get over a Boral load, to be honest. Like, if they get their Boral load up, this deck probably loses. It stops my plays a lot of the time. Once I just have a good hand for it. Uh, his name is Link. I don't like that. I don't think it's a Zelda Link. I think he's going to do like 10 Link summons in his first turn. Wait, is that... Um, that's uh, Invokers, right? Yeah, it's Invokers. Okay. It took me a second. Okay. Invo oh, Shadow Invokers. Alright. Oh, Shadow Action. Is it. I think the deck is called, like, Shadow Invoke Dogmatica. Because, like, th the three arch types together. So, yeah, there's a Shadow. I honestly don't remember what this does, even though it's. Shadows are a really good arch type, by the way. They're insanely good. Send one shadow card from your deck to your graveyard. At the start of the damn step, this card battles a special summon monster. Destroy that monster. This card is sent to the graveyard. Target one shadow monster. Oh, that's good. You're setting up your invoker. I get it. We get it. Because invoker, if you summon it, you basically get uh, an invocation, which is pretty much a fusion summon that goes off of an invoker and a monster of a certain type in your graveyard. Alright. What the heck is that? Oh. So this is monster for one fusion material. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Interesting, interesting. We do have a transmodify here, which is pretty big, because I can transmodify my necromancer. Oh, oh, lightning storm and feather duster. So if he doesn't have a way to negate my cards, we just destroy oh, what's this? Okay, that's fine. But yeah, we have two destructions. We destroy his foe and traps, and we destroy his monsters. These are both pretty good. But we need Avenger outside of our hand in order to really make a play happen. And we also don't really want him to be negating us either. Oh, Sage is pretty good. Feather Duster. Negate. Through Negate. Okay. Yep. I could transmodify this into a Necromancer, now that I think about it. What does this do? It's annoying. We can't destroy this with our Lightning Storm. Okay. 
I think we still Lightning Storm anyways, though, because it's going to be a dead card after this turn, if things go right. <laughs> But yeah, I'm just gonna lightning storm anyways. Oh, yeah, it's not gonna do anything. Yeah. But I'm ready this point to play it. Okay, I forgot it's only attack monsters. This is beside the point. I wanna summon a sage. Yeah. Summon a sage. Can't negate, right? We activate this was us discard our hand and set up our plays a little better. And now I activate Transmodify. Get rid of this. For a Necromancer. And we send an Archfiend to our graveyard. And then the combo starts. Ooh. Yep, there's our Necro. Activate this. Send Archfiend to Graveyard. So we can set, so we can revive our Archfiend, and then we're going to be pretty decent, I think. Though he seems to have a negate in hand, which is, or at least some kind of thing he can trigger right now, which bothers me a little bit. <laughs> Certainly does. Negate. Activate something, dude. Did the game bug? I should be able to activate my necro. Unless there's a effect on this scene. I have to be missing something. I should be activating this necro when I'm here. We have no cards in our hand. It's obvious. That's not the grave. What? Does anyone notice anything? Cause like... I really don't. I'm just confused now. Is there a card I missed? I guess I missed something and it got negated, but I don't know how. What? Why? Oh wait, does this negate the effect? No, it doesn't. How? Okay, I'm a little frozen. Cause I should have been able to activate my Necromancer there, get my Archfiend my graveyard, and then make a play off of that. But it seems like I missed something where he got in the gate going. That stopped it. Did I miss the oh. Oh, he effect failed me and I missed it. Okay. That must have been what happened. I was like, what the heck? How the hell was I negated? But well, I guess it's this card, right? Yeah. But I never saw it go to the graveyard. But either way, yeah, he just invokes me. Double kill, double kill. Huh. I don't know how I missed him playing a Veiler. But yeah, that makes a lot more sense. I was going like, well, how the frick? He didn't activate a Veiler. Well, I guess he did. Yeah, Avenger. It's not gonna matter though. <laughs> but we will have our petty resistance. We need a top deck and Archbeam. Oh wait, he negates it. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, this is over. 
a quirky little loss. That's sad though, I just completely missed the Veiler. I honestly kind of want to watch the replay of this, just so I can see where he played the Veiler. Because like... This was a big thing to miss, and I was paying so much attention to you. Yeah, after this game, I'm gonna watch the replay just because I didn't see the Veiler. But it's clearly there. Veiler is clearly in the graveyard right now. He doesn't finish me, but I'm not going to resist. Yeah, the reason I'm not straight up surrendering, you get more uh, points just for, for just for losing regularly, so I'm just hoping he attacks me. Let's attack. Jesus Christ, let's attack. So he has a car. How did he get the car? That's kind of crazy. Yeah, after I'm gonna see like where the failure was. Hmm. I just tripped out and I missed it all together and the failure just negated my neck row and I'm like, oh damn. <laughs> Honestly maybe I should run a third of my suppression just so I can prevent that. I think if I get like Failed early, it's pretty bad. So having three suppression to prevent it might be worth. And suppression can always be set too, so it's like it's probably pretty fine to have a third suppression. I can put it over one of my Raigekis, because I don't think Raigeki is very high value in general. Yeah. Like, look at my life points, look at my hand. <laughs> Invoker players, oh my lord. There we go. There we go, dude. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I didn't see the Veiler. I did not see the Veiler. Oh, I don't think I have a way around it anyway, so it's not like it mattered much. <laughs> but I will save it, just because I want to see the failure waiter. We'll keep it going. But yeah, if you guys want a deck to try out, Invoked, Shadow, Dogmatica is very good. Invoke Shadows in this in general. Honestly, there's so many arts types that you can just attach an Invoke engine to, and I think it's going to be pretty legitimate. Cause um, the invoke fusions are just so good. It just creates a lot of value. Hmm. Okay, we do have to modify. I'm gonna lure. Banish this. I double set these first. Just in case he has like a Veiler. Because we can prevent it with a uh, suppression. Alright. I set this. I set this. Summon Sage. I could be my Prince Modify. It's a pretty good start though, having two barriers in suppression. It prevents the same thing from happening as it did last game. Like Necro. I can Necromancer here and get my Archfiend to my grave. And there we go. Activate, we we'll bring out Archfiend again.
launcher. We already use our normal summon, so there's no need for Mirage. Okay, we activate this. I think I have Paranoia here. Actually. Yeah, we Paranoia. Tribute Necro. Summon this. Because we can special summon our Conjurer from the grave. Which can help us for some plays, potentially. I bring out my Geonator. Geonators is a Thor card to extend my wings. It's nothing crazy. It's a very it's a low it's a low wink cue that we can miss summon easily, so. My launcher here. Which necro Yeah, I think we win pretty hard here. I can barrier set. You can go patriarch here too. I think I go barrier first. Oh, I should want Patriarch, to be honest. Yeah, I special summon this. Attack position. Activate this. Summon. I need to form my Chris Drawn here. I need a form or a little help. Gex here. Get this. We didn't we don't have a mirage though is a thing. It's fine. Vanish and necro. Okay. Yeah, Archfiend into my Patriarch, and I can special summon it. Cool. And then we can uh, overlay here, too. Which is probably not the buzzing entertaining thing because I'm going for like the same blue or similar leaves each time. Yeah I bring this out. Get our Dugaris. My Dugaris here. I think I go for Decode Talker here. If I'm, yeah, cause I can get rid of this. Counts as two. There we 
go. And I can get rid of my Halga Flax, so we have Weeple. But yeah, we have four negates on board here. Okay, MST. Target the suppression. I guess I can give her my Hulk. No, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'll just give her a Hulk. You can get rid of my suppression, that's fine. We still have a triple barrier. So yeah, I summon my little magma guy. Yeah, Synchro Sony, huh? <laughs> we got some Synchros down. Or give it a Synchros. Okay, the MSD, he searches. Ugh, another one. Huh? We have two left. I don't think I let him go for the special summoning here in this barrier. Oh, he does automatically. Never mind. We don't barrier it. Double barrier. You shouldn't make a big play though, because we end this. Yeah, he gets this. Don't connect here. Okay. Alright. Activate our Patriarch so he can't destroy us. Because of his play though, we are a little off lethal. Be kind of off people though. He starts off lethal for what it's worth. Now I go to main two. It's in my graveyard. How's this? So I can go for the sage here. Sage will allow me to get a Mirage. I can activate this. Yeah, I activate Sage. Banish Mirage, so we copy the Mirage here, and we activate our 
big man. And then we just get our loop going. That's really the power of this deck. You just get so many loops. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, we Archfiend. Full Archfiend there. And we go for a Sage. Activate Archfiend. We haven't done a normal summon yet. We have not. At least I don't think we have. Yeah, we have it. So I can Mirage. We should we wait? Yeah, we have. Okay. I can still activate this though. I can avoid Apocalypse. Discard our Mirage. Send a Necro. What card can we make here? And is it worth it? Oh, we can make a Void Ogre. <laughs> Make Void Ogre here, and we just call it that. That's another negate. Void Ogre do be another negate. I think we chill here. Yeah, we chill. Okay. Nice. This should be pretty fairly in our favor. I took a lot of time though. <laughs> I took way too much time. Here for a second at 217. It's me trying to remember all the point infirmities, man. Yeah, I can activate that. I'm gonna early barrier that. I probably should have read it first, though. <laughs> Okay. These junk synchrons. That's his normal summon, we just barrier that again. We have a Void Ogre, so we can negate its spells. And we should only need one. And we also have Decode Talker that could make a play. So this board looks pretty firmly in our favor. Yeah, he's end phasing, and we just attack. I will set something first, just so our Void Ogre can negate a hand trap or something. So yeah, we set, and we attack. I actually could have another negate down if I didn't search my Mirage because I forgot I did my normal summon. But yeah, we won. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Infernities, baby. Moving up our grade a little bit too. You love to see it. Okay, we get three of those tickets. I hope we I'll actually get something for these tickets eventually. Okay, I've opened so many of those and just got nothing. Like actually nothing. Blossom versus Sand Gan. Disparity there. It's the other effect. Crazy. <laughs> um, oh, I can alert this.
Oh, okay. Sure. Honestly, fair enough, dude. Fair enough. Don't blame you. Oh, they're back. Mod check. Insane. Oh, they have an artifact. So, well, the good thing is they saved my Avenger, which is kind of funny. <laughs> it did save my Avenger. More apocalypse here. I think having Conjurer was the right play. Cause I can special summon Conjurer after this. I can just transmodify my Avenger Gone. So I get rid of my Avenger. Special summon. I activate. I can bring out my Crystron here too. My Helga Flax. Yeah, we have the flax. Yeah. So we do actually have a play. It took me a second to find something though. With that. Yeah, either way we go have the flax here. Activate. Activate. Oh. I messed up. <laughs> I did mess up there. I was supposed to do this with Archfiend first. Oh, yeah, they. Okay, if I went Archfiend first, I could have disowned my Archfiend off of that. But I messed up. Uh. I think I actually just cancel and turn. I think I just end turn here. Yeah, we have two negates. This is a hope that will be enough. Oh, that's such a misplay. That was such a misplay. Because you know in Yu-Gi-Oh, you just have to activate things in the right order. This, the thing that activates last is the thing that goes first, right? So I just uh, did it the wrong order. I couldn't get my Archfiend, which is really stupid of me. But yeah, hopefully he has no plays that he can make through barrier and suppression. That's really what I had to hope for. So he gets my barrier out of the way. That was such an unfortunate mistake. We lose our barrier. We still have one trap though, our suppression. Well, I get rid of my Hogs of Flax then. He's doing that. Special summon. Man, we would have won this for free if I just didn't get one for my RG. Oh man. Okay.
still pretty good though. I wonder if they'll actually DC. Cause they've been like, there's the red bar over them this whole game. I don't think it's because of us. So this might just be a DC win even. It might just be a DC win. No? It's summon again. That means I'll no longer have my suppression. Get Avenger back. I will go get rid of Sage, I think. No. I think we get rid of Necromancer. So we still have a negate. Okay. Cool. Let me get that. Do we have any other plays? It might not. Okay. Well, we start off that turn after the misplays I've made. He does set one. You set one, two. So if we draw into at like any of our monsters, we can make a play again. So if we draw into anything else, that's a little bad. <laughs> oh, a mirage is good. The mirage is really good. Does he have any negates though? He has a negate and it's still a little tough. Okay. Wait. I clicked Avenger. Whatever. There's still. That's such a bad card if you face me into. Alright, this attack. Because my Mirage would have been stuck by this too, so it doesn't matter too much. Because my deck is all monsters of the same type, so that card is actually kind of devastating. Especially now that I've like messed up my combos. Or more or less to swing in with this fucking Geomatech <laughs> Magma and hoping it wins. Which is not good. This is not a good game plan to have, for sure. I, I did think I sent my Avenger though. I need Harpy Feathers Duster right now in order to stop that. That was good. Yo, you building Infernities? You love to see it. But yeah, we made a big misplay on our turn one, and now this card is just preventing me from doing anything. But yo, that's hype. Card's so annoying, dude. It's so annoying. It wouldn't have been a problem if I just like <laughs> if I changed my effects correctly, because I did a I had my Chris drawn out here. I was trying to special summon my monster. 
But I did the ordering wrong, so I couldn't summon my Archfiend, and I had to summon a useless monster, so it's just a little... A little bad, it's a little bad. Special so summon this turn, you can have one Sky Striker. Yeah, he kinda... So now I'm just attacking with Mag... Magma, and just hoping I can make something out of it. But we need to get a Harpy Feather Duster. If we can't get a Harpy Feather Duster, then we lose. Or really any... Because my whole deck is Dark Fiends. This whole deck is Dark Fiends, dude. Come on. What, a, what an annoying card. Come on, Dark... Ah. Uh. That doesn't help. <laughs> I guess I just have to mill my deck so I can get it a little faster. Yeah, I get rid of this. And the worst thing is this guy's been like, eh. <laughs> Internet hell for this game too. But yeah, let's see, let's see. Still my F plays. Yeah, I can get rid of my Sage here. Or Sage. This is such a weird game. Get a Wildcat. <laughs> he does have a Sky Striker spell in hand though. So this is my B. A little rough. I'll still try, I'll still try though. Oh wait, I forgot about this effect. <laughs> forgot about this. So yeah, we got rid of it. <laughs> Yo, what a goaded card. I just put this card in randomly because I had it too. But that actually helps a lot. Because now he doesn't have his goddamn... <laughs> oh. What is this here? Please want me to destroy. Oh, this is special summons that. That's fine. I'm okay with that. So now we're back in winnable. What card is that? Uh, Geomat... Mathmech Magma. The reason I, I put it in here as the filler is because we have... Um, wait, it's in the graveyard already. And I can enter before I say but We have Crystron Haug of Flax. Oh wait. Which basically you can banish this card to special summon this. Ah. He yeah, has Geo Math Mech Magma. I don't really use it too much as more of this for this card. Christron Halgaflax. And off of how we can summon it and let's get a stronger monster. <laughs> That's really all the logic to it is. But it saved us there, honestly. It really just saved us there. But we need to draw something here. Okay, what's this? That one Sky Striker. Then if you have three or more spells. He draws two. Oh, he's one. Okay. It's slowly making this weaker, though. So, Sky Striker maneuver if you control all monsters in your main monster zone. Target one face up monster on the field, destroy it. So, this is going to destroy my math tech, math mech now. And once that's down, we're in complete top deck zone. <laughs> Which we already kind of were, but we're even mo more so top decking. The good thing, though, is we can, like, Thin our deck with Void Apocalypse a little bit. But really what I want here is an Archfiend, a Necromancer, a Mirage. There's a lot of cards I could deal with here. Which I kinda wish I kept my Mirages. I think, yeah, I think most of my Mirages are in the grave already. 
may be a little unfortunate. Okay. Sky Striker Maneuver. Target something. But yeah, this game's been pretty slow. The guy just has the red bar of death above him the whole game. But okay. He finally destroys my map mech. So we just have the lone Avenger. <laughs> the one honest. Of oh! You can destroy too, yeah. So we're in true top deck zone. So we don't even get to mill our deck. We don't even get to mill. We control all monsters, add one Sky Striker, okay. Striker action, baby. So he has this spell here. Different names from your graveyard up to the number of Skyfire spells you activate this turn. Oh my god, that's insane. <laughs> he activated like so many things, and he's gonna be able to bring a lot of them back. He's gonna loop his spells back from his grave. Kagari? Don't know what this does. Add it to your hand, get one attack points, okay. So he's just looping his spells right now. Okay. Yeah, he mobilizes again. It's crazy that this card is not once per turn. He's just gotten so much value off of it, and then he's going to use that for his mecha. So let's loop it back again at the end of the turn. So that's why Sky Strikers were such a good deck in the TCG. Just all these spells, all this looping off of it. Good old waiting for a response, insane. Waiting, waiting, boys. Okay. Finally resolved. <laughs> Honestly, I wonder if he's actually going to make it through this turn. I feel like every few seconds he just has a red bar over his screen. So he's taking my Avenger, which I think is very rude. I'm not gonna lie. And I really don't appreciate that. So I think he's gonna take that and. Can you make a Link 2 with that? Fire Sky Striker Ace Monster. I really don't know what the extra deck. Yeah, he's. Yeah, he is. Okay. Oh, Halga Flax. He has it too. He has his goaded card too. So he can just special summon for his deck and then he can use that to loop into a Synchro Monster as well. A Synchro Tuner Monster. Like, that's the same card. Oh, he does it into a Veiler. Why would he Veiler there? <laughs> I'm not sure if I agree with going to Baylor. Maybe that's his only tuner though. That, that would make sense. That would make sense. Oh, he's going for another Link summoning. Okay. Selene, Queen of the. Of the. <laughs> Master. Oh, that's a spellcaster. That's why he did it. Equal to the number of spells in your graveyard. Your opponent's monsters cannot target this card once per turn during the main phase. You can remove three spell counters from your field. Special summon one spellcaster monster from your graveyard. Okay. At least that's a once per turn, because I got scared when I saw 11 spell counters. He had 11 spell counters on this, but you can only special summon one. 
Okay, special summoning Valor again. Is he going for another Link? He's bringing out a Link form monster, I imagine. But I have no clue what monster that is, because I don't play Links. <laughs> uh, okay. There's no way he's going to be able to lethal, though, I don't think. Let's see. What's this Link for? Axico Talker. Okay, this is... Ooh. card link summon you can target one week also uses an interior for link summon this card gains attack equal to that monster's link rating times 1000 so that's going to get 3000 more attack points and be 5300 and you can banish one link monsters from your field or graveyard destroy one card your opponent controls also for the rest of the turn you can now banish Ooh, i think that pins me here yeah it's going to be 5300 Oh my lord. Is that 5300 right now? Yeah, for real. I'm really don't know how to feel about Link summoning. But the good thing though, I would have won this game if I just uh, played my Arch Fiend and lo looped correctly, so it's not too bad of a feeling. The Sky Strikers are a really good deck. Yeah, it's gonna be hard getting through the Axe Code. Though he still might DC, because like every few seconds this guy is just waiting for a response. This kind of feels like a DC angle. Attacks Axe Code ends. <laughs> like, I don't know, bro. If you're playing Yu Gi Oh! Getting that takes you out. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm the master of spells and traps. So true. Bro, I just fucking had the trap to set off his router right there. Yo! <laughs> Yo! This is the most insane trap in the world. Just setting off his router. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my. Well, <laughs> we won, boys! <laughs> oh man. And we're gold! We're gold! We're a golden boy now. <laughs> Dude. Wait, what the heck is this? Pixie Knight? Okay, it's nothing. Alright. <sighs> okay, I want to save that. For the memories. Because we shouldn't have one. <laughs> we should have one. Back. What's our match history like? Oh, it's not too bad. Look at our turns though. Six, five, three, two, two, <laughs> one. <laughs> so we're winning more. We are winning more now. Even though that one was kind of a loss. The Sangan Bros. Let's go. I like this guy. Big fan. Okay, we're gonna go first and let's try to loop. The router strats always work, man. The router strats always work. Okay, we have an allure. Set barrier. Mirage isn't a good opening, but we can deal. Then do another Mirage, okay. I think I have to settle a lot of things here. <laughs> hmm. Honestly, maybe I just set my allure as well. I don't think I. Nah. I have to draw two monsters in order to get something off of this. Is the thing. That's not bad. Oh, wait. It only activates if I have one card in. Oh, yeah, it's a bandit, so it doesn't matter. So yeah, we got nothing. We just absolutely bricked right there. But we do have our Torrential Tribute. <laughs> In five face down cards, so maybe we scare him. No! No! 
Well, that's kind of a heavy storm. A lightning storm, dude. Uh -huh. Fuck. Fuck. Uh, actually, we won't forfeit, but he should be able to leap on me. He, <laughs> there's no way. There <laughs> God damn it. God damn it, dude, for Raid Raptors. Alright. I thought he was running Black Queen OTK at first, but no, it's just Raid Raptors. Uh, uh, lightning Storm. How did we both open our Lightning Storms? What the heck? This is a one off. Oh my lord. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Raiders Knight into Blaze Falcon. All right. Oh, rank up magic. Okay. Cause we have never seen Raid Raptors play. So this is <laughs> the only we reason I'm not forfeiting after that. <laughs> the only reason. Oh, I guess if we top deck an Arch Fiend, then maybe we can do something. No, it would still be too hard. He's looping so much right now. Because I had a banish for my lures too. We had a banish our monsters, so we can't even loop from the graveyard right now. We have nothing set up. <laughs> it's so painful though. Yeah. I have watched a little bit of the anime with Raid Raptors an arc V, but I haven't finished it. I don't know if I ever will. <laughs> I don't know if I ever will. Kind of a bad habit. Because not because I didn't like arc V, it was just because, uh... I just have a bad habit if I stop watching something, it's very hard for me to pick it up again. It is insanely hard. End me. But you know, this is kind of fitting for the... <laughs> if you watch Raid Raptors in the anime. And what they did. Did a little ODK. Oh, he doesn't have it. Okay. I thought for sure he would have lethal there. Show me what you got, Mr. Raid Raptor. <laughs> Show me what you got. Okay. Build that XZ network. Yo. Overlays. Yo. And a Raid Knight. So you know, another Raid Raptor. Insane. Wow, well, what a brick. Because even if I got my Torrential Tribute still, to stop that turn, I would have just drew to a Fool's Burial. <laughs> uh, mm. Those are the ones I haven't watched, <laughs> really. I watched 5D's GX, mainly. Bum, bum. Well, of course the original, too. I've seen a little bit of Reigns and a little bit of Zexal and a little bit of Arc V, but I never finished any of them. <laughs> I didn't like Zexal, but I thought Reigns and Arc V were fine. I just kind of stopped watching them. <laughs> oh yeah, Vector. I remember Vector. I liked Vector. Because even though I say I didn't watch Zexal, I watched Zexal loosely because i like had to skip between parts because when i watched it as a kid i'll just watch it on the tv so i've seen parts of zexel 
And the vector parts are the parts of team. Beginner no more. <laughs> Wait, what is that achievement, bro? I just got 8,000 to zero. What do you mean? <laughs> Beginner more, no more. What the heck? The achievement system is taunting me today, it seems. So did it even move up a little bit? I didn't notice. Oh yeah, yeah, another one, another one. We keep it going. We keep it going. Oh, there's a Master Duel tournament. Yo. Someone's actually hosting a Master Duel tournament. How funny would it be to enter and just lose every round? <laughs> I would most certainly go 0-2 if I enter that tournament. If I just go did I wish they showed Yusei vs Zone in English? Yeah. I, I didn't like 5Ds in English, but I like 5Ds subbed a lot. <laughs> Which I think uh, the stubs of GX in uh, original Yu-Gi-Oh had a lot of funny stubs going for them. But 5D's dub? Eh. <laughs> I didn't think too highly of it. Ba -ba 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 -ba. But I still really liked it as a kid, so, you know. But I could never go back to it. The GX dub, though? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> or original Yu-Gi-Oh dub? The best dub it. Video ever, not even close. It was just crazy how farther you get in the series, it just downgrades more and more <laughs> for the dub part. You'd think it would be the opposite, but no. I know Cyber Dragons are supposed to be pretty good. Yeah, I know. The final season. Ba -ba -ba. But GX dub is not good because it's a good dub. It's good because it's weird. <laughs> it's just actually weird. But yeah, Cyber Dragons are pretty good, I believe. I remember. Oh, it's a true negate, huh? Negate my burial. Also, we have so many monsters in our hand. This is ridiculously clogged. But the good thing is I can sage it. Please negate. Ah, you dude. <laughs> well, we send our sage in. Should I imagine we should bait and negate here? Should we do it with our launcher? Yeah, I'm gonna try. Negate my launcher. Negate. Yeah, Cyber Dragons are really good. They got like major buffs during like XD monsters. Like this card's kind of ridiculous. He can negate my launcher if he wants. But I'm giving it to him. Take it. Take it. I beg of you. Hm, he did. Okay. Oops. But yeah, I now activate my Stygian. We can go to Necro. <laughs> and he does have another negate now. Because it feels weird to bait off of my launcher like that. But it actually does so much for us. Now I can activate my Sage. Just discard my hand. So we were formerly clogged. And now we're clogged no more. And we can Sage discard a monster. Who do we want to get rid of though? We'd send an Avenger. Special summon with Necro. 
Archfiend. Activate. Well, this is where the game begins, boys. I'll go Paranoia instead of... Because I'm thinking that I could bring out my big boy later. My Patriarch, and then loop my Patriarch with Paranoia into an Archfiend. At least that's the idea I had when I made that play. But yeah, we bring in Crystron, Halga Flax here. And Halga Flax allows me to search for a monster. Paranoia. I wanted to. I think I messed up. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. But we can Suruya. Suruya. Maybe we can make a point out of that. I wanna do this first. I wanna Paranoia, and I'm gonna try to Suruya. Oh, we can do this for Necro. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot my Necromancer was level, level 3. But yeah, that's fine. We're actually good. I'm stupid. <laughs> so yeah, we're good. We're good. So I can actually get rid of my... Hogaplax here. Yep. We'll get the Code Talker. And then we can activate... Necromancer. Summon Archfiend. Oh, we were negated. Oh yeah, we were negated. I forgot. Huh. I'm making so many mistakes. It's crazy. Uh, whatever. I'll just attack the Cyber Dragon. card I want to go into, I can go into a Saruya, right? Mm. Sure. I'm going to go Saruya to try to fix my mistake. <laughs> I should have did that before the battle phase before. That did nothing for me. Because it has to be four monsters, it's not if you bring some of it. I am so dumb. I'm so dumb, dude. What the heck? Oh my lord. That was like 10 different misplays. I forgot this got negated. I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, now we remember. Paranoia negates my necromancer. And that's why I wasn't mentally saying make the necromancer play. Good to remember. Good to remember. And that's why Paranoia is, not, is a one-off in this deck. <laughs> okay, now I know. Now I know. I feel like a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! is you make mistakes and then you're like, oh shit, why did I do that? And then you just 
probably don't make that mistake again. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of what yu gi -Oh is. Yeah, the Galaxy Soldier. And this Sir Yuya summon was pretty bad. Yeah, like VGC. Good old trial and error is the, error is the best way through life. Yeah, you can summon another Cyber Dragon off of that too. The old Galaxy Soldiers. Is that actually a thing in the Cyber Dragons normally? Because I have no clue. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. But honestly though, this part of what makes Yu-Gi-Oh so exciting for me is Pokemon I'm so more used to it. That's like, yeah, okay, I understand the risk reward, it's fine. But this I don't understand. <laughs> I'm just trying my hardest to understand it. More and more. This is really what makes it fun. Yeah. And I, I think that's probably my favorite part of the game. There's just thousands of things right now. And they didn't like camper. They already have dual links, which kind of eased into it. And now it's just full blown. Oh my god, there's so much. Like, what the heck is this? What is that? <laughs> you just have to work through it all. Which honestly though, it's so fun that I honestly kind of want to make another account. <laughs> Just to play more decks while being free to play. I just have one account where I play a very specific deck and be like, Yo, we going in with this only. Which I am half considering doing. This is in the game? Oh. Okay. Does he have super polymerization? He has super poly. Still, that's kind of crazy. A Preda Prat lap mode? Preda Prat. Uh, God Neos? Um, probably. Can I? Hmm. I don't remember if that was he. It was probably though. It was probably printed. Hmm. Bro, I'm doomed. <laughs> Rampage Dragon. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. But yeah, Cyber Cyber Dragon's pretty good. Pretty good. We've warned. Yeah, it's, it's Chimeratech Rampage Dragon. It's like the zero attack monster, but <laughs> it's, it's, it's this is crazy. It's this is crazy. But what card God Neos? Is it actually called God Neos? It's my first question. 
Or is it like Divine Neos or something? Because if it's Divine Neos, this is most definitely in the game. I'll check for you real quick. Uh. I think I know what you mean. So I think it's this, right? Is it this? Alex, by the way? This big man? <laughs> I think you'd be sure by looking. But yeah, that card's been in the game for a while, actually. It's been in the game for a while. Actually, kind of... When was it printed? Yes, I am looking it up. <laughs> 2008, yeah. Oh no, that's when I was in Tag Force. <laughs> But yeah, 2008, 2008 to the TCG, and Crossroads of Chaos. Also, uh, Alex, by the way, if you want to play Heroes, <laughs> it's busted. Heroes is so busted. Like, just look at this. Like, look at that, dude. Look at how many cards are in this archetype. This is insane. Like, you, you get so many heroes. You get so many heroes. Like, Dark Law? Where is it? That's those evil guys. No. I, I could just type it Dark Law. But you have this, you have the max heroes, you have everything. Yeah, it's gonna be expensive though, I imagine. Like, there's gonna be a lot of URs. Stuff. Like, one sec, one sec. Rarity, UR. <laughs> this is a lot of stuff. Like, these, Melissa's, Honest. Plus... Yeah, there's so much. And those are those UR and SR cards. Which, obviously, all of these you won't need. So, it's fine. But it's definitely an expensive deck, even in this game. Because <laughs> Heroes, I think, in the TCG are most famous for this being such a goddamn expensive deck. Because everyone like, likes Heroes. Yeah, yeah, Power Bomb's in the game. We'll double attack. I don't even need to check that to remember power power bond. It's from my generation, baby. When I played Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> AKA actually a few years after that, but I played GX Yu-Gi-Oh longer this because that's what I played with my brother. <laughs> so it technically is what you think about it. Yo little gold banner. Looks so cool, so thrifty. I wonder what deck I should go for next. <laughs> Cause I have 6,000 gems on this account right now. Let's actually check. What's our secret packs right now? They are gonna go down soon though. Yeah, we have heroes, but it's going down like 30 my nine minutes. Ooh. Christians. Did we get anything else with the Infernity pack? No, we just got Infernities. Good enough. <laughs> hmm. I don't know what I want to go next. So blue do blue eyes? Uh, maybe. Yeah, I feel like I know too many people going blue eyes. I'll think of something, I'll think of something. I think I wanted to have some kind of crossover with what I already got, if I can. Let's see. Those are URs right, like, right now. Can we have a UR? Oh, yo, Blackwings? Yeah, I played Blackwings, that would be hype. 
Uh, X Saber is a prime now. What do we have? We have the Crystron. How we have Infernoids. I do kind of want to try out Infernoids. I don't know how the, they play, but we're actually using a card in the Infernoid decks right now. The Void Apocalypse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you. I get you. So we actually do have uh, Infernoid cards because I had a pull for some Void Apocalypses and I generated a couple. I'm never playing that. Um, <laughs> yeah, we have some Infernoids. Yeah, we have a lot of Infernoid cards. Though I have no clue what an Infernoid list even looks like, if I'm being honest. <laughs> or if it's even good. I think that's probably the deck that has the most like crossover with what I have right now. Other than that, um Actually we want to be this uh URs. See, let's see. So we have a Heavenly Monarch, Ether. Yeah, there's Dragon Lords. That is an arch type. So we have Generator. Do you have a Generator? You are. A Dolce. A Dragon Ruler. <laughs> I heard those are like really broken Dragon Rulers. So we have that. Or that is. Hmm. It's looking like Infernoids though. I, I gotta admit. It do look like Infernoids. Yeah, all I really got is Infernities and Infernoids. But yeah, I think the next deck, I'll just look into Infernoids and we'll go from there. We'll go from there. Can we gen cards? Uh, bro, I wish. I wish, bro. <laughs> I wish my uh, capture card still had like volume so I could just use my capture card and get my switch out and just be like hey I'm playing Thunder Dragons <laughs> and just randomly have a new account for a different deck <laughs> that would be pretty funny Okay, I see a play. We burial here. For where's the level three? Our conjurer. Set. Set. Summon Archfiend. Conjurer, baby. Wait, why can't I transmodify here? <laughs> because I said it. Yeah, okay. I thought if you set normal spells, you could still play them. I guess I'm wrong there. I just forgot original Yu-Gi-Oh rules. I was thinking I could just set this, I can transmodify my Conjurer, and it would be good. We're still okay though. We're still okay. Uh, double set. He summons. Oh, he's playing Dragon Maids, huh? Negate. I hope that stops their plays. Because I honestly don't know how the Dragon Maid deck works. <laughs> but maybe that's just enough. Damn, he had another play. 
No. Okay. Enter. <laughs> Roll the damn waifu decks, bro. Come on. Yeah, and he's special summoning this monster. That we can't even destroy with our tribute, so I'm not even gonna bother. Destroys Archfiend. That's good though, I can transmodify now. We can transmodify here. Oh, we got a launcher too. <laughs> I have no clue what that- it showed me the card, but I got no clue what that card is. <laughs> oh, we can't even transmodify though. That's kind of sad. So I guess I launch her early. Can we go for a Mirage? We go for a Necromancer. Activate. Yeah, we bring out Necro Mancer. Send our Necro to the graveyard, transmodify into an Archfiend. Activate Archfiend. Okay. Bring out a wildcat here. I think it's fine. Barrier. Does he have a negate? If he does, I mean, I have a barrier. We can negate the Dragon Mage shenanigans. One Dragon Monster you control, and one card your opponent controls are in the graveyard in your hand. Okay, I negate that. Wait. Barrier? 
What? I didn't want me barrier. Okay. Sure. Okay, I, it showed my tribute. It didn't show. Oh yeah, because I just set the barrier. I'm stupid. I am stupid. <laughs> That's annoying. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, I don't know what that card is either. <laughs> like, thank you game for showing me the card that I don't know. It's very useful. I mean, very useful. <laughs> oh yes, he added that card to his hand, yep. <laughs> Thank you, game. Uh, what's that do? This card is normal, and you can add one dragon meat monster from your deck to your hand. Yo, Olson. We're playing Dragon Maid now, I guess. <laughs> We're playing versus Dragon Maid. But I got no clue what the hell this deck does. Uh, yeah, I'm playing Infernities. <laughs> and we make occasional mishaps here. We make occasional mishaps. But I got the deck a lot better now than I had it yesterday. Because I have this bad boy. This bad boy is insane. Halga Flax. Wait. Uh, yeah, we're playing random people. We'll, we'll rank games, you know? You can point me as well though if you want. I would not mind if, you want, if anyone wanted to play, I would play them as well. I do kind of want to try out what the dual room is like. Which by the way, in the Discord I posted a link to a little tournament that's going on this weekend. I don't know if I'll enter it myself, but it is interesting to see that there's already tournaments. So we have a little Master Duel channel in the Discord, I just posted about it there. Posted by Swag Kage, and there's about $1,000 up for grad, grab with free entry. I'm considering playing that over a Pokemon tournament. I am considering it. Even though I know I will get bodied. <laughs> but I'll be the lone Infernity player, repping my arts type. <laughs> Okay. Dragon Maid, what does this do? Do you have an hour play? Cause I didn't activate tribute because I thought you would have an hour play. Yeah, okay. They had another play. They had another play. More plays? No. Damn, we blundered. We have blundered. Wait. Summon a monster. Yes. <laughs> oh, the trust truck is on crazy but yeah we can uh torrential tribute and then into the barrier <laughs> we have delayed it for so long boys yeah you have your negate i have my negate too <laughs> you. <laughs> We're still a long way from having a good position though. And he has those two cards out. So there's still a lot of work we need to do. 
Oh man, we have so much in our grave. If we can top deck a Mirage, or if we top deck a Necromancer, then we're okay. Oh, an Avenger. This is not a card I want to top deck. Quirky bit of set pass. <laughs> One monster set down. Hopefully they don't, they probably have a combo though, right? They probably have a combo. Yeah, they brought it back, huh? Yeah, we lose. We do lose, because if I, uh, even if I get the card I want, then the shield just negates it. It will just negate me on the summon. So it's not a good situation, it's not a good situation. So man, the music is so good still. So yeah, he most certainly has this game now. Most certainly. Yeah, we did draw our Necromancer. <laughs> we did draw our Necromancer. But I wonder what this card is going to do. I wonder. Oh no. But yeah, I should have waited on the barrier, uh, or the barrier, what's the card? Tribute play. Cause if I waited on it a little bit, we probably could have made a play. Yeah, I old Necro. Negate me. Or don't. Or don't negate me, actually. Yeah, we surrender. <laughs> we had nothing going for us there. Sag. Did it update for the new day yet? Hmm. This should be the third day, right? Oh. Oh, it already did, huh? Yeah, it did already. Wow. Duel in solo mode, activated spell card and rank duels. Okay. But we'll just get our spectate duel live all the way, I guess. Now go to the bathroom.
Oh, uh, it took me a day. <laughs> and by a day, I mean more like a few hours. It didn't take too long. I feel like getting the first deck in this game is pretty easy, to be honest. <laughs> Beyond that, I'm not too sure. I probably could have gotten in a less amount of time if I wasn't this like... Because I kept a lot of gems. I was like well over 9,000 when I started building. And I started comboing it with crafting stuff too. And all the dailies and kind of this worked. Of course a lot of it depends on what your deck is. But I think in general you should be able to get like one deck at minimum. And maybe even two depending on how many cards in your deck are you are. And as far as. So I think the general thing is like it's going to be tougher to get like certain extra deck monsters and hand traps. And I didn't need to rely on hand traps for this deck so it was perfectly fine for me. But I think there's certain cards that will be annoying to get that you probably should craft like a max C. And you probably want three of those. You probably want a Veiler and stuff like that. Otherwise, it's generally pretty easy, I think. Which is really good that you can just craft your UR. And you won't have to go, like, digging for a maxi. That would be pretty bad. Which, by the way, it's kind of crazy that maxi is, like, a 3-off card now. It's kind of ridiculous. I've had people just draw off the full deck because of this maxi me. And with how many people this makes so many special summonings each turn. Maxi is just such a good table. Holy dude. The Numeron boys. It's kinda wild. What the heck? Oh lord. They boosting dude. They boosted. What the hell? Oh. <laughs> wow, okay. That was a lot. That is a lot that this happened there. In fact, it is a good amount of stuff that this happened there. What the heck? Orcus? Yeah. And he still gets beat though. <laughs> still gets beat though. Crazy. Man made by all the plays there though. All of them. <laughs> that was ridiculous. That was. I have no clue what that Nubaron 1 did, but that was, uh, interesting. It was interesting, interesting. Um... Yeah, hmm. Do we want to do solo mode? For a bit? Activate spell. We can do a few more ranks. Alright. Oh yeah, and by the way, Olsen. If you have a deck you want to target, you just want to craft a card first, and then you will get the secret pack. So you just craft an SR of the arts type you want to unlock the secret pack and then you go from there and then it's pretty easy. If you don't know what deck you want, you can just buy a bundle for like an Ass Blossom and then like just go off of what archetypes you get from those 10 master packs, you know? In general, you don't want to be spending too much on master packs. It's just not, it's not efficient because master packs, you could get literally any card out of 10,000. So in general, you shouldn't be investing in that. Let's 
that. Oh, <laughs> an ass blossom, okay. Well, poor guy. <laughs> I have the second one. <laughs> Do you have another one? No? Okay. Uh, the brick. A brick, baby. A little bricky brick. Just absolutely bricked it. Oh, Phantom Knights. All right. Wielder. Okay. Danger cards, too. All right. Danger Jackrabbit. Special summoning my arch fiend. That's good though. That that means my arch fiend's gonna go to the graveyard. My graveyard. But I want him to link summon off his cherubini. To be honest. I don't know if he'll actually do it for me though. Cause like I can't destroy these farms. Link summon all your monsters. Get rid of this. I don't want to deal with this. I don't need to deal with your burning abyss boys. Burning abyss, dude. Crazy. A little BA action. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, another Levier. Okay. It's crazy. You have an hour boy? Yeah, you do. There we go. Fen Knight Bardy. Now we activate. <laughs> now we activate. <laughs> we waited so long for that, dude. Like, we just waited forever. Yep. Okay, draw. Ah, it's a bummer. The brick, the brick. This guy was even nice enough to put my Archfiend in my graveyard again. 
Okay, his attack for that is fine. That did something, probably. <laughs> Draw. No! Another barrier? What the heck? How did we draw triple barrier as our opening? Dude, what is this? What are the odds, man? The good thing is they can't do anything either, but I'm still a little salty. So this triple barrier, which is still could win it for us too. An allure. Hmm. I guess I'll write Geki this. Barrier set, and hopefully a lure gets us into something. Or at least mills through my deck a little. Fuck! It had to get one of my launcher, bro. My launcher, dude. Like any other card, it was the launcher. This is so sad. This is actually so sad. Okay, we got suppression down and triple barrier. Did I get my other suppression too? No, we got a tribute. Dude, that's crazy though. We bricked off of three allures this game. So that's like six extra cars that we should have been able to get through this. But no, we just bricked on every allure too. <laughs> The good thing is when we do summon a monster, our board's going to be insane with triple barrier. But I don't know if we'll be given that chance. For turn, you can just have one action to see concert and tell one card you're using control and one card you're phone control. Okay, that's fine. He ends turn. No more spells is limiting. No more plays. Okay, he goes into downward position. It's fine. Design to Zeus. Well, it was nice having the barriers. It was, it was nice. It was the one good part about our hand. Okay, we get Mirage, but we don't have two monsters in our graveyard. We just had the one. What a ridiculous brick, dude. That's impressive. Cause we can't even activate our Mirage, because we have only this in the graveyard. Okay, we surrender. I mean, I'm not gonna point that out anymore. What a brick. Holy, what a brick. We've had some like really bad bricks these last two games. This makes me wonder if I should change- oh we're playing Farfa. <laughs> oh god. Is that actually Farfa? Cause if you don't know, Farfa is like a Yu-Gi-Oh streamer. Um, shoot. How do we want to play this? 
I guess I could Void Apocalypse and do that in some kind of infernity. has Ash Blossom. Well, we lose. <laughs> we do lose. But there's no combo here. There's no way. I'm just gonna set this. Wait this. Oh god, he has another hand trap. <laughs> there's another hand trap in that hand right now. I oh god. There's another hand trap. He, he's gonna activate another hand trap right now. Jesus Christ. Okay, we activate. Hand trap. Hand trap. <laughs> it's common, right? Yeah, there it is. Veiler. Ugh, I knew it. Unfortunately, this is, we didn't draw a tuner, we drew a conjurer. But it doesn't really give us any value. He negates. Is there a good card we can go into here? I don't think so. Yeah, there's not. This is attack. <laughs> this end, we just end. There's nothing we can do there. That's so annoying. He has all the hand traps in the world. But okay, let's see. What is Mr. Forflow going to do? Okay, I was actually watching the Forflow stream earlier with you. What's this? Speedroids? Okay. But yeah, it's not a barrier, unfortunately. It's a Raigeki. <laughs> it is a Raigeki. It is a Raigeki. Alright. Speedroids. Burning Abyss. Okay. Oh. He has danger of burning a fish. Oh my. What? That's that's insane. He just doubled up. He just double got those, huh? He just double got those and a danger. I don't think his cards could have been better off the top. A double scar, crawl, and got a danger. Oh, is this attacking? Okay. Sure. We lose our conjurer. We face two. Sure. Tone for is this added to your hand, alright. Hmm. You need a top deck again. <laughs> He had the Veiler and a Blossom as his top deck. Okay, he summons. Nightmare Phoenix, alright. Oh, okay. That's a good play. You can destroy this. I also destroyed my Void Apocalypse, but that doesn't... Yeah, there we go, he destroys it. Brothers, a little BA action. 
burning abyss. Yeah, he destroys that. He gives back his Dante. He should have another play because he has his eye in the graveyard. Yeah. Okay. End turn. And we have the top deck. <laughs> we have the top deck, dude. He discards. Yep. Oh, what does this do? Ooh, that's annoying. Cause if we destroy it with our Raigeki, oh, <laughs> kind of funny. That is kind of funny. This is a brick. This is a complete brick. Yeah, I can activate a Conjurer though. Well, that doesn't do anything for me because we have this have a Vanilla Ring too. So I actually this brick again. Which, I really should change the ratio, ratios, I guess. We just bricked hard these last, like, three games. There's, like, nothing we can do about it. I'm not even gonna bother defending this. That's embarrassing. does but whatever it is if you're banishing that many cards I don't like it <laughs> that was like five banished monsters it's fine you changed my monster to defense position for me how kind of him but that does prevent um if I had a counter trap here that would prevent my counter trap, so I see why you did it. But yeah. Oh, we can't do too much. Unicorn, okay. Can you destroy another back row with this, right? Yeah, okay. He gives her our back row. Cool, cool, cool. He gives her a lightning boss. Inactive back row, baby. <laughs> and yeah, he destroys my heart stream now. Tour guide from the underworld. Fee from your hand or deck. Negate his effects. Okay. Cannot be used for your synchro material. That matters a lot, huh? <laughs> this Eggsy Shulkan, dude. Well, another Dante coming. Another Dante. Oh, wing four. Oh, he has an Axix code, huh? <laughs> he does have an Axix code. Yeah, Veiler and Hand Traps in general are like horrible for Infernities. It's like one negate kind of stops your whole deck. And he did have that negate, I didn't have the suppression. Like, honestly, I should probably change this deck, drop the Regekis. Go like triple suppression. It won't, it wouldn't stop the scenario for why we lost that game, but I think it might be worth. Just to give us an out, a better out into ha Hand Traps. I still want to be a good out on hand traps, but we do need more suppression, I think. Yeah, we get rid of the right Gekis for sure. We go like suppression. And what should our last card be? Oh. Infernity. We need one more card. 
try and fix this. Hmm. But yeah, I think triple suppression is actually worse because we're getting hand trapped so hard. And suppression is not the best out either, but it does actually. Because I can set it and then summon my Infernity, and then we can just activate it when we have no cards in our hand. And that's pretty worth it. And it can always like allow us to get our plays going a little bit more. So yeah, I think I had this add a suppression and add suppression. Hmm. What should the last card be? <laughs> I have no clue. We are bricking a bit. Do I want another wildcat? Because wildcat's kind of good to stop the brick. Hmm. We have card destruction. The like, card destruction's iffy, but it could be a filler card if we had it. We don't have it. Okay. Hmm. What should I add? Uh, I'll just keep the Raigeki in for now. This is a one-off. No, not Raigeki. Um, Torrential. I guess I can find a better one-off. Was there one for one? Do we have a one for one? That might be interesting. Are there so many cards to show up for one for one? There we go. Then one monster will be I don't want to generate this though, to be honest. <laughs> I really don't want to generate that card. Oh god, it's Master Pack, huh? I think it's a good filler though. Screw it. <laughs> we'll deal with the consequences later. Regretful though. I probably have like a lot of URs I can dismantle, right? So it's probably fine. I'm gonna check my URs. Yeah, we have a good amount of URs. Most. Mm. Disenchant these. So yeah, we have some stuff we can disenchant for now. But yeah, let's try like this. Let's try like this. We got absolutely blasted, dude, by that hand trap. Maybe triple suppression would be uh, out for that. We were able to stop a hand trap and do our OTK this fine earlier. Cause we just got a suppression, we set our suppression, and we just went off like that. I almost- oh, I didn't quicken in time. Oopsie. In general, I do want to go first with this deck. <laughs> that wasn't obvious. Yeah, one for one should be an interesting card. To make this a little bit better. But yeah, I missed- I didn't quick the fr one in time, so I can't go first. Not go first. Okay, pot immediately. Hmm. That's interesting. It's going for a pot of Zari instantly. Do you have a lure and a stygian? Wolf's burial, too. It's a pretty good hand. Synchrons, huh? Yeah, there's Chet Synchron. 
Oh, Yara Monster Reborn. Interesting, interesting. So we're playing a hardcore synchro deck. There's Junk Synchron. Alright. That's why the synchro deck is the best one out of the three you can choose at the beginning. This does actually have plays. Double ganger too. Okay. Alright. As long as they don't have a negate in hand, this is fine. Okay. Oh, TGs. Okay, synchros again. This is a pretty impressive board. Well, it has no protection right now. It does have no protection and has no negates either. At least not yet. Jet, uh, what was the card? Yeah, Formula Synchron. Twelve again. So much draw is happening here, dude. Oh, jeez. Excel sinker all. Banish this card until the end phase to activate one of these effects when your opponent activates a card or effect negate it. Oh, we draw that, uh, okay. <laughs> you can negate everything if you wanted to. Pretty crazy to think about. Oh, he has an Ash Blossom. Alright. Of course he does. Another one? Oh no, he's actually going because of that. Blazer Dragon.
Well, I have no plays. <laughs> I actually have no plays here. we can do. Okay. If we had another way to get out of a monster here, we would win. I would be able to take this, but I don't have a way. Gave it up for free, okay. We top deck like any monster in our deck, then I think we have a chance. Top deck monster. That wasn't a monster. <laughs> that was not a monster, dude. Easy, dude. Oh, I didn't save it, but whatever. Okay, I'm gonna pay attention, so if I can go first, I actually click it. Okay, they're choosing. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I'm going second again. Woo! Let's see though, let's see. No bricks? That's okay. That, that hand's okay. That hand's okay. There's a lot of things my opponent could do that could make this annoying though. They have a good opening. Oh, okay. That's not good. <laughs> like, that's not good. That card is like really annoying. No alert, turn one. He has a negate too. Oh my god. Oh, he has a max C. <laughs> Why are you max Cing after summoning a barrier statue? Because that like stops all my draws, dude. Why not?
We're not able to special summon any monsters with that sat you out. It's gonna make things pretty annoying. Do you have another one? He has another one, huh? doesn't negate though. I'll search Conjure. We do have Oh wait, I don't have double barrier going because I didn't summon in an attack position. That was stupid of me. But yeah, the statue it just stops all my plays. <laughs> Wait, it, there's only wind monsters to the special summon right now, so. Not anything we can do to stop that. It doesn't even care about a barrier either, so. What a ridiculous card to main deck, though, in this draw at turn one. <laughs> to stop every single special summon I have. Crazy. Yeah, that's unfortunate, dude. Yeah, yeah, end phases. Okay, cool. We got a sage. That's a trap card, huh? That was another max seed. Why are you activating max seeds? I can't special summon. It is getting rid of them. What is he doing? That's so weird. Like, that actually does nothing for him. He... He's not going to be able to get draws off of monsters that when I can't special summon anything. I'm going to try to head attack into this though. Because I'm a little annoyed with this card right now. And I can always barrier the trap. That's why I waited to turn to do it. So I would have that ability to barrier him. Yeah, now we can start doing our plays, boys. Card from graveyard. Yeah, we main two, and we get paranoia. Oh, we can't paranoia right now. Could activate a conjurer, but I don't think that does anything. Well, actually, it does do something. Yeah, we'll conjure here. We're gonna conjure. Does he go? <laughs> he has another hand trap, doesn't he? Oh lord. What is my opponent even running, dude? Well, I guess his maxi gets value that way, huh? His maxi does get value. I'm just gonna end turn. I don't think he can get around two barriers, to be honest. Which I actually did have a play going there, but... Maxi kind of scared me off of it. We still have the Paranoia too, so we can still make plays. We do have to remember that... Ooh. Side frame? Driver? What is happening? Huh. Yeah, we activate our Patriarch. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. What a weird game. But yeah, now we don't have to be as reserved anymore. And start making our plays. So yeah, I activate my burial. He has another one. What the heck? Okay, there's an ass blossom. That's fine. I can negate it.
I can get my Archfiend in the graveyard with this. You get our Archfiend in the graveyard. Okay, special summon. Got a Halga Flax here. Now the game's gonna start beginning a little bit. It will start beginning a little bit. Got a Halg. Activate Sage. Activate Halg. Okay. Is already negate? Yeah, it's negated. I'm stupid. Why did I do that? Um, you can summon a cold talker here. Eco Talker destroys this. At least. I don't think he has a trap I can stop this with. Oh, he does. He use it, never mind. Repose fine. Oh, they, dude. I should have discarded my Stygian. So I can special summon Archie. Okay, another one. Oh boy, dude. Oh boy. I can't help but wonder if it was worse that I made the play that I did. Bring out the co talker and destroy the monster he had. She couldn't do anything because we had a barrier, so. But now he actually has a potential to set plays again. We have 25 cards in our deck. We have two, four. Five. Seven. Eight. We have like 10 cards in our deck that we want to grab right now. That would be perfectly fine for us. And if we grabbed any of those, I think I'm happy with our situation. But yeah, he's finally getting a summon going, so I kind of might regret my play a little bit, but we'll see what this card does. This is something you can target one face a monster in the field. Okay. So maybe it's fine. Maybe it's fine. As long as he has no negates, then we should, should be good. At one level one, we can, so we can add more monsters, but it doesn't do too much for him. Okay. 
Okay, monster draw. Draw a good card. Ah! That wasn't it. <laughs> Oh, that's good though. So we can get rid of this transmodify. Get rid of this transmodify. We can send Stygian to the graveyard. Activate Paranoia. Paranoia gives us an Archfiend. Yeah, so it'll give us an arch. Can you negate this too? Oh no. They had Call by the Grave set? That's so bad, bro. So bad. So yeah, they banished my arch feed. So I can't actually get it special summoned here. What the heck? I feel like this deck this has cards to annoy specifically me. He has Maxis, he has Barrier Statue <laughs> for the wind, and then he has his Cold by the Grave. It's so weird. Yeah, he banishes the Archfiend. Brigade Norval. That's bad. So he can get any Link monster he wants right now. Like legitimately just any Link monster he wants. Ooh. Yeah. Brigade. Okay, let me draw a card, please. Okay, he has a link five. So we're screwed. <laughs> oh no, he's did for a link two. cards over half my deck I could draw and I would be fine with but if we actually have that chance to draw I don't know yet I think he finally has something going okay. that drag down into the grave was deadly for us and that wind statue was stopping that early plays slowed down our deck so much. It slowed him down too, luckily, but that was not fun. It was not fun at all. Do the self respect forfeit, I think. Damn. We're on a losing streak right now. And mainly this off of bricks, too. Which I know Infernities aren't really like the highlight of meta decks. But it's still so depressing to me. That I can't put these wins together. But yeah, okay. Yo, Olsen. 
Oh, can I? Yeah, this. You just go to the deck, and then you search your card, and then you click the button next to the search menu, and they'll let you see all the cards you don't own. That's basically how. And then also, you can disenchant cards to get like 10 points, and then 30 points for any card. And then the 30 points you need have to be matching the N, R, whatever rarity that card has. And then you just do it like that, and you're good. But yeah, we go second again. I really do not like going second with this deck. I think I've said it earlier, but... So we're playing Water Xyz. Water Xyz. A little Water Xyz action right now. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. How do we get this card so many times? Oh, what the heck? This is not a good opening. We do have a Sage, but... I don't know if even Sage saves this. We don't have another monster with the same level as our Sage. Is the Heroes pack gone? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean gone? You can get it whenever. You just have to... Secret packs are only 24 hours. You just basically get an enchant of the hero SR that you're looking for. And then you just get from that box. That's how you do it. Is this a secret pack? It's not. Oh god. Uh, we lose this, we lose this. Totally awesome can just negate all my employees. I'm not gonna bother. There's multiple hero secret pack secret packs. There's the Destiny Hero one with like max hero stuff, and there's the this one with Stratos. It's heroes. There's a lot of cards. <laughs> so unfortunately I can't be more descriptive but we should have one of them so i can show you that one at least oh no never mind well is this a hero pack too it might be no this ignis never mind well i can work i can work because how you get secret packs in this game alex because I, oh, I entered the shop again why did i do that how you get secret packs in the game alex by the way is you can go to your deck create new you need to search the card you want. Like, in this case, you want a hero, right? Let's say... You want an SR. You want an SR. Because you can only get the special thing if you craft an SR. You are... So you see this? This is Destiny Draw. Oh, wait. I could give a better example. I think. You see this? This is Melissus. It's a very good card for some hero decks. You just click how to obtain. And you just go to this. And you pack Shrouded Heroes. There's multiple hero packs. So it is one of the more expensive decks. But I'm sure you can get it through generating stuff. But yeah, same thing. Stratos. How to obtain. And you get it from the first heroes. That's how you get it. This is I'm curious now. Where is... Uh... Let's try Absolute Zero. Where's Absolute Zero? Yeah, first heroes again. Okay. It seems like there's two. Well, I was trying to check. Vision Hero? Yeah, there's Shrouded Hero or there's another one, I think. Um, I'll try Evil Hero. This is a check. This is a couple might cover my bases. Oh, there's an Evil Hero pack too. Okay. Where's Dark Law? Is it also in the Destiny Hero one? Yeah. Oh no, it's in the Evil Hero one. Okay, there's basically three packs that you want to go into for heroes. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. So for most of those, you might want to just enchant them instead. And make it work like that. How about this one? First Heroes? No, it's in Neo Space Cop. Oh, they. But yeah, heroes in general are a very expensive deck that are hard to get into. But So you'll probably have to craft a lot of cards. To start getting into it and like hard focusing it. Oh, you got an absolute zero? Nice. This is always a good card. 
Oh, another YouTuber? Oh, it says YouTube in the name. Kai played Farfa not too long ago, Alex. <laughs> oh, I got destroyed. <laughs> Keith has had a Veiler and two Infer Infernities, and I cried. <laughs> Farfa? Uh, Farfa's just another Yu Gi Oh! YouTuber. He's one of the bigger ones, too. Give me his point in this Burning Abyss. Spanish garage here. To be honest, yeah. Um, this is such a brick. <laughs> I feel like there's gonna be my motto, the saying, oh my god, this is such a brick. Yeah, we sage. The good thing is we have Monster Reborn, so we can still make a play. Okay, just discard all these. I'm Monster Reborn. We get our Archfiend back. Okay, then we go for a Launcher. Ah! Oh. That's sad. Hand traps, baby. Okay. Well, we can still go into the Haug, so it's not too bad. Do this to get rid of... Uh... There we go, Haug. Doesn't summon a tuner. I think I'll special summon Wildcat. Then we go Conjurer to Grave. Or banish. We banish the Mirage. Okay, that's perfect. I actually did it right. Banishing Mirage is kind of optimal. Because I can do this. Leap this back. We can Xyz summon. Seed. He has another play though, which is interesting. He has another play though, which is interesting. Okay, he doesn't show anything. But I wonder what card that was. Either way, I go Levier. Because the uh, interesting thing about Mirage, you can't summon it from the graveyard, but. But, but, but you can summon it from the banish pile and that's what we're trying to do here so yeah we just do this activate this there to a conjurer material now we can go for a conjurer again later because he's in the graveyard and not banished but yeah we got our mirage out we can now activate a mirage if we want to we will, of course. Oh, I didn't mean to quit settings. Oopsie. Yeah, now we activate Mirage. And then we go Archfiend and Sage. We go Archfiend. Launcher. I kind of want to check this guy's YouTube later. <laughs> so yeah, Archie. I think we actually got the combo perfectly here. So I can go for my Doom Archie here. Get rid of my Sage. Yep. Launcher.
Well, it's not quite perfect, but... Because I don't have a Necro. Oh, I should have summoned a Patriarch. We should have summoned a Patriarch here. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, we really should have summoned a Patriarch. That was a big miss point. The way we have barrier set. Negate spells traps, we have one negate for monsters. Okay, what's this? Interesting. Is there another play I want to make here? I don't think there is. Yeah, I could have made that play a little better if I went into my level 4, because I can Archfiend off, and I could go into my Exist Summon again, I can loop again, get another Archfiend, and we could have went going like that. Drag down the graves a little early, I would say. What is he targeting? I missed it. Well, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. So I'm not going to bother negating it. Oh, he banished my Doom Archfiend, okay. I think there's worth barriering here. The barrier destroys it too, which is pretty key. Also important, Oh wait, it wouldn't be level 4 and under. Yeah, now we Void Ogre. If he has another play here, yeah, that would be crazy. <laughs> that would actually be insane if he had another play. Oh, he does. Wow. Code Talker. He did have an R play. It's kind of wild. All right. Transcode talker there. So yeah, another link play, a link five. Now you have the Axix Code Talker here. Oh, it gets from my Harpy Feather Duster. <laughs> All right.
That's a little annoying though. Yeah, this my Void Ogre's gone. That you be a little annoying. <laughs> I will wait just for the access code, because that's so many attack points. Sage. from his graveyard, I guess. You have a destruction effect. Kinda looking bare. <laughs> We're making some plays here. All right. I think we get rid of our save. We have another play. Not really. <laughs> we could summon Decode Talker. Chilling. We are chilling. We are chilling. That was a big destruction, though. <sighs> There's no way he will be able to create something. I could just disrupt this, right? There's no way. Okay, there might. Talk back Lancer. Okay, he can bring it back. <laughs> oh god, he can bring it back. He tributes this. Oh. Splash Mage? What does this do? So you can bring back another one. Oh, hey. I guess I did actually have to destroy the monster he had there. That's insane. That was also one monster, and now we can just make another link. Yeah, transcode talker now. Dude, that's so crazy. So yeah, letting that monster live was a huge misplay. <laughs> I had to go into uh, Link Summon there. I thought, eh, it'll be fine, but then it wasn't fine. <laughs> it was not fine at all. Holy. Oh god, can you special summon that too? And you can Link Summon again. Now he has the Transcode Talker back if he wants it. He has another one is at your deck, at least, I guess. Is there another one? Please don't tell me you're running two. 
please. The game just came out. YouTuber sound, please. He has another Link 3 first. Xcode Talker too. Oh god. That's stronger than my Doom Dragon. Patriarch. <laughs> nope. We're good for now. He's rid of our arch. Rogue Doom Dragon doing all the damage I can. <laughs> I misplayed. <laughs> that was a misplay on my part. That was a misplay. I could have actually have linked some there. I could have kept my suppression and just made a big play there. And probably have pushed the end of the game. Maybe. <laughs> Let's see what he top decks though. Oh. We should have searched for barrier, I think. Would have been a lot better. Yeah, we negated that. We're chilling for now. Battles. Destroy my Necro, right? If he doesn't destroy Necromancer, this is pretty bad for him. <laughs> that would be pretty bad. Yeah, destroys Necromancer. Yo, Jake with the raid, how you doing? We playing Yu-Gi-Oh though. We playing a little Yu-Gi-Oh. How is your stream, Jake? Ooh. Okay. I think I just uh Play Avenger. <laughs> I'll just play the Avenger. Activate my Doom Dragon. Get rid of this. And we're playing some YouTuber apparently. <laughs> this makes this a little funny. But uh, here I go. Let's go this. I'm just going for lethal. <laughs> to be honest. 
I think this should this plan. Okay, we get this. Activate. Yep. Woo! Get a little victory right there. You'll love to see it. Nice little victory. Yeah, how's your stream, Jake? It has been pointed a little bit Yu-Gi-Oh to mixed success. A little mixed results out here. And it's been very stressful. Some of these duels have been crazy. Like that one was a uh, oh, we're at the maximum already. Crazy. That one was like particularly crazy. So I kind of wanted to delete all my duels that I have saved right now. I accidentally saved so many of them, even though I didn't want to. How do we get rid of them? Oh, we have to manually do it for everyone. It's crazy. Yeah, I'll do that later then. <laughs> That's too much. Was fine to use Double Toad in Series 11. Marked Hunted Size, so I wanted to give it the spotlight. Yo. Size Toad is pretty good. So it's definitely worth it. But yeah, do you play Yu-Gi-Oh, by the way? I actually did not know. Because honestly, when I stream Yu-Gi-Oh, I don't expect anyone to raid me. <laughs> In all honesty. Because uh, only like a good handful of the Yu-Gi-Oh -Oh community that plays yu I mean the Pokemon community that plays Yu-Gi-Oh as well. I have no clue when it comes to card games. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Which I'll tell you, I'm probably not the best to explain it either. I am probably not the best. I even Pokemon TCG. Oh, huh. That's a little more surprising because I feel like generally, if you're going to a VGC event, you're just gonna figure out, hey, they have TCG all the time. You know, they always have the big TCG stuff going. But the Pokemon TCG is a good place to like start out. It's not as like whack as Yu-Gi-Oh is. I don't, I wouldn't recommend Yu-Gi-Oh to anyone who doesn't like genuinely like Yu-Gi-Oh already, or already play other card games. I've never been to a VGC event. Oh, okay, okay. I see, I see. Oh, this is a, this is a solid hand. <laughs> oh yeah, we're playing a deck. Called Infernities. Which not even a broken deck by the way, not even that good, not even meta. But then after saying that, I'm just gonna do big negates, big plays. <laughs> we activate launcher, discard everything. So basically the whole thing about Infernity decks, they have a bunch of effects if you have no hand. So it plays a lot to this having hands and having constant negates on your board to stop your opponent from doing anything. So it's the VGC equi equivalent of having fake out and intimidate on every turn. <laughs> the best way I can think to call it. Yeah, we launch her. Launch her. What do we go for here? This barrier, right? This barrier. We already have a suppression down. Yep. Because of how Infernity Archfiend works, we only get one off that search, unfortunately. Unfortunately. I could Halky Plax here. I could also use this. Dubris. Uh, we'll use a Halg. Activate that. Gotta go get food. Enjoy the rest of your stream. Thank you, thank you. Hope you have a good lunch. Or actually, probably more like dinner at this point. Probably more like a dinner. <laughs> yeah, we get our Christron going. Right, Sage. Come on, 
Sure. I misplayed. Can you have that? Oi, <laughs> boy, I'm misplaying. This is not good. Let's try to start Yuja. And just try to make up for like that. Yeah, sure. Do we kind of misplayed this? Oh, I didn't want to do it that one. I do want to start Yuja though. We're gonna start Yuja and just try to make up for that misplay and just get Revolve 4. No. Did I mess this up a bit? A little pressure, a little pressure from the big grade. Kind of crazy. Yeah, that was uh, not what I should have done. I should have got the level 3. It would have been a lot better. Yeah, we start Yuja. We get a monster reborn though. We do get a little redemption from our mistake. And Saryuja actually gives us another effect as well. So we can special some Mirage here. Yeah, we bring out Archfiend. Archfiend allows me to search. I think I actually go Mirage first. Okay, I can special summon Mirage off Saria. So yeah, we activate this. Bring out a Mirage. Face up. Life point gain. Activate Mirage again. Sage is there. Activate our Archfiend. And this is kind of what Yu-Gi-Oh is these days, Jake. <laughs> it's a lot of searching, a lot of going, a lot of going off. I could go Patriarch here, actually. Patriarch overlay. I like Patriarch better. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, then we special summon our Patriarch. Face up. I will summon Doom Archfiend here. <laughs> A little single player gaming right now. Do we activate? Special summon. Return ends or the other. <laughs> the Cause it doesn't. They don't get a turn. This is our game, dude. They'll never get a turn. As long as I'm playing this game, no shot. <laughs> we don't allow other people to have fun. This is my fun only. <laughs> yeah, let's skip our main phase. Special summon. Get rid of the overlays. <laughs> but we are almost done with this combo. Activate. Get our barrier. Should we go barrier? Yeah, we go barrier. It's unfortunate we weren't able to get our necromancer in our grave, so we can make more plays. But you know, we do be playing the Yu-Gi-Oh's. And generally we play Pokemon here if it wasn't obvious, but I have BGC in my name. <laughs> so this is a little not typical of us, but you know. It will be a lot more Yu-Gi-Oh on this channel for a bit. I don't think there's a play worth making here, right? Could go Decode. Why would Decode talk it? Kind of is. Only one. Never mind then. We chill. 
So see, they got a turn. You get a turn. <laughs> but yeah, I'm trying to learn how to play this deck as well. And try to be more consistent with it. So my combos are probably a little off. And I'm saying that when I have like three negates on board and all of this. So yeah, I activate pot. I kind of feel like I negate the pot, to be honest. Because I would draw two and that's more potential stuff that I would have to negate. And we still have one left. We do also have a monster negation with her suppression. We'll see. Does he have another play? It's still five cards, and we only have two negates. <laughs> so it wasn't optimal Infernity, so we didn't get like eight negates on board. He has so many pods. What the heck? Paleo, Paleo, Psy Frames, Skill Drain, Eldlick. Okay, he has an Eldlick deck. I don't know what Eldlicks do, I have no clue. <laughs> but, we would have to get through this. We get Skill Drain. Oh. I didn't even re read what it does, but I don't like it. <laughs> Hit my barrier. Watch the show, the game is new to me. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. That's how it is for a lot of people, honestly. And to be honest, the game is a little new to me, too. I don't know what level was the optimal one to choose there, but I don't think you'll have a level 9. Oh. Okay. That is annoying though, how you got rid of my barrier. I didn't even get a click on it to see. I wanted to see the effect, man. What the heck? What the heck was that, dude? Which, if you don't know, Eldlick is actually one of the better decks, but I don't think it tends to run this engine. So it is a lot different from, like, normal Eldrick stuff. Well, then again, I'm kind of talking out of my ass, because I don't know what normal is for this deck, but I don't think it's like this. To be honest, I don't. I'm just going to negate that, to be honest. This will do a decent amount of damage, too. Yeah, that's all of our negates now. Is this going to attack? That would be cool. Back to a side frame, yeah? Yeah, okay. Side frame into what? You could target Archfiend, I guess, or Dugris. Oh. <laughs> okay. That's actually optimal for me because I activate Patriarch and he can't destroy it anymore. Because Patriarch, when it's in the graveyard, you can just banish it and protect an Infernity monster. I'm not 100% sure how work that was. Who was this? Uh, 
Oh. Okay, that did something that I don't like, and this will get back to you. We get a lure. It's kind of a brick right now. He negates all of us right now. The battle phase. So the card we used last turn, we just have to skip our main phase. That was your deck. Is there another card I can make here? No. I'm gonna try to lure into something. It worked. <laughs> it actually worked, huh? Oh, it negates that too. Yeah, this negates it, right? I can special summon, but it'll negate me. I thought it was only for monsters that were not already on my field. Oh man, that's broken. <laughs> Any card stops me from reading. Boy, the what I do, dude. He negates all my effects, right? So. It's in the wrong zone, so I can't take it. Yeah, whatever. Let's get rid of these, I guess. If he has skill drain out, he can't activate effects either, so. We have to deal with that. Yeah, and we don't get the boost anymore because we skill drain. Yeah, that's so annoying. That one card is this hindered me so much. Actually, I don't think it was worth making this play because I had to give up three monsters and I can't activate any effects. I didn't have time to read it either. What the heck? I wanted to see what that card did. Game, please. <laughs> Okay, what is he doing? He has no monster effects either. For what it's worth. Hmm. Okay, I clicked it in time this time. <laughs> This card is a normal monster. Oh, hey, hey, there's so many traps. I need like top deck a harpy feather duster, and I believe in myself again. <laughs> like actually though, if I can just des destroy these goddamn traps, and we're in a lot better position. Come on, top deck. We have 25 cards, it's a 1 out of 25 chance. Crazy. He sounds another whoa. Oh. <laughs> okay. He boosted that off of the trap too, so the skill drain didn't matter. Oh no. We might be screwed. He's so boosted right now, and we just can't activate any of our monster effects anymore. Yeah, he's just in our trap. Okay. This board is so much better than ours. We're all negated here. Okay, yeah, this attacks, gets rid of my Saryuya, and then he just gets this, gets rid of the Co-Talker. Right? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay. Yeah, this destroys both. 
That skill drain card is so annoying, man. What the heck? Back to you makes this insanely hard for us, too. We got main phase 2 and phase. Yo. Turn change. RP? No. Okay. Activate or negate effect, yo. <laughs> oh, crazy. <laughs> Here we end. We can't do anything. We didn't draw the cards, no! It doesn't feel too bad losing the old like though. Lord's Warp is one of the best decks in the game. Palio. He gets rid of it. Ooh. So we're just gonna have to take this face now, huh? We're just gonna have to take this one to face. Okay. Another trap. <laughs> All the traps, dude. What the heck? I don't need my main phase, honestly. I simply don't need it. Boy, they loops, dude, the loops. Palio! This is summoning all these monsters now. Yep. And you can link summon off of these too. This is interesting. So you can make an even bigger boy off of his trap monsters. That's 5,000. Yeah, that's game, that's game. Little 8,000 damage on the dot right there. Ugh, man. And the start wasn't even that bad either. It just kind of comboed together the longer it went. Which kind of is what happens with Inferities. You tend to not win if your, your opponent can get past your first board. It's a very uh, combo heavy deck in the early game. Very combo heavy. I think I'm going to take a break from ranked duels though for a bit. Maybe try out a little solos. We are almost done with this. <laughs> we are almost done with this. We just need a little world, world legacy action. Cause there's a campaign mode in this. World campaign mode. A lot of narrative stuff. And this one's the longest campaign. Yeah. I didn't have much trouble with the solos other than uh one of the pendulum ones. Let me check. What was it? What was it? Okay, I can check that real quick. We had trouble with this one. Cause I didn't know what the cards really did and I just kinda got So I decided to like brute force it. And eventually it worked. But that was the only one I actually lost to with the regular decks. The other ones were pretty easy. Bum. Or we just got lucky. Cause like the practice and the du the duels uh are completely random, so <laughs> You could just get a bad opener and be like, oh. And they're playing like basically the same deck as you, but slightly worse. The sun is already set, leaving only starlight to guide them. The scent of trees and soil hung in the cold air. While Fritting was unsure, it ventured into the forest as if she was being guided. Careful not to lose sight of her, the three walked out for crawlers as they followed her. The sun we within a brunt streak. It vanished before their eyes. Listen to the place where they lost sight of her, they saw Ib and fallen off a low cliff. It appeared Ib had been so spellbound, 
in the direction of the voice that she hadn't noticed. There was no ground below her, before her. The three descended the cliff and were relieved to find Ib uninjured. Before their eyes, a mysterious structure appeared. If it had been there before, they would have noticed it. But as if the structure had been there for hundreds of years, it was inconst in trees and entwined in ivy. They nervously approached the building. Card game lore, what the heck? The one it held in her hand glowed, and the building started to rumble as in response. A mighty light radiated from the building, blowing aside the trees and cloaking everything in a flying light. Even with their eyelids closed, the light pierced mercifully through. When they finally opened their eyes, a fairy fluttered in the air before them. The fairy spoke to the startled party, I am Lee, the world chalice fairy. A spirit that had been sealed inside the building that released the bright light known as the world legacy world chalice. In previous times, it was her duty to guide mankind, but was obstructed by the Mech Knight. For many years, he had been waiting for a world hero capable of activating the world chalice and that they are those world heroes. Please lend me your strength and gather the scattered starlight and save the world from the great darkness. Though bewildered by Lee's story, Aram and the group were moved by her earnestness and decided to lend a hand. Easy, dude. Hearing the result, the fairy Lee smiled and bestowed upon them powers of the awakened world chalice. But yeah, basically there's a solo mode in this game with like kind of the lore of each Yu-Gi-Oh card. And this is one of them, and this is easily the longest one by the way. The other ones were barely like four things. This one, there's two parts, and it's uh, yeah, it's pretty long, it's pretty long. But yeah, we'll try, we'll try. I'm going to try to use the practice deck. Slow mode for real. I want to change the title real quick because I'm not playing ranked anymore. Yo. What makes a World Chalice deck unique? You can bring out a slew of powerful Link monsters by starting with some normal monsters and leading them to further Link summons. When World Chalice Link monsters are sent from the field to the graveyard, you can special summon a World Chalice monster from the hand. This can allow you to perform even more Link summons and recover quickly from your opponent's attacks. Keep World Chalice monsters ready in your hand for an even more effective strategy. So a lot of these cards are the cards you get off the tutorial too, funny enough. They just gave you World Chalice cards straight up. It's just the normal monsters though, not any like the links are going crazy with it. But... Blah, blah. We link summon in loop. Our World Chalice monster this turn using Imduke, the World Chalice's dragon's effect. Summon crowned by the World Chalice and we summon around the World Chalice Blade Master. Yeah, we summon this. Cool, cool, cool. We activate. Get a little Linko summon. Oh, I didn't mean to. I accidentally tabbed out. <laughs> Oopsie. But yeah, we summon. Yo, big man. Big man. Send Duke the Chow's Dragon to the graveyard so he was effective to special summon a world Chow's monster from your hand. Alright. Uh, 
I feel like the practice is so bare bones. I didn't have to read any of that, the card. I didn't have to activate too many effects. It was like a link summon once and they were like, oh, okay. This doesn't really teach you the deck too well, I would say. But yeah, there's a lot more duels to go. There's a lot more duels. I hope we can get through this by like 4, maybe. At least this part of it. I'll probably stop streaming at 4. It's called a day. But who knows, who knows. Burden Sanctuary Insects. Okay. So we're playing a different deck from them this time, at least. I guess I activate this. Some of this. Activate it. Can't do any plays off of that. We had to summon a normal monster, huh? <laughs> so yeah, it's a world legacy normal monster, it's not world legacy uh effect monster, it's cool. Okay, they didn't attack. Okay, now we can link summon. going we can summon again allows us to search for another world legacy monster so we go net zero i guess yeah let's search this Narling summon, then we activate this. What does this do? <laughs> I think we summon this. Activate a ROM, right? Activate a ROM. Okay. Tribute this. Bring this back. our dogs out boys um okay
Actually, this might be pretty difficult. This might be pretty difficult. of defense, so we special summon that. That was a surge. We can special summon this. Okay. That's interesting. I don't know what I'm doing, dude. <laughs> oh, man. I think this is probably going to be the hardest one yet. This feels like the hardest one yet to win. Oh, God, now the AI is thinking. Oh, no. <laughs> That's a flip effect, right? Yeah. What does this even do? Kinda bad, that is kinda bad. Crawl. Okay. That was pretty good versus crawlers, yeah. Destroy. We normal summon this. We activate this, getting our monster going. Summon. It's pretty okay. Some of this. So 
feels weird to use that, but I'll try. Oh, I shouldn't put it there. I should have put it next to my oopsie. <laughs> you can banish this and summon another monster. This one might take longer than I thought it would. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm going kind of crazy. Here we enter. Okay, this one uh, story mode do actually almost got me over time. The battle phase, he was attacked. Cool. We had 900, we had three. Never mind. I thought he was just not gonna play long story. Playing that card. Um, yeah, there's not anything more here. Send this to the graveyard, though. Get rid of this. Oh, yeah, I can set this actually. It's not a brick. If I can use this. Oh, cool. That's fine. We can just destroy that. So we destroy this. We destroy this. Cool, cool, cool. So now we can attack and this will be lethal. Dope. I'm gonna end stream there, by the way. We just will end these. That went a little too long. And I feel like if I did another one, then we're just gonna be over. Wow, this is so much. Oh, you actually get the World Chalice monster too. That's cool. I will check one thing before I go though. I'm gonna check how like long it takes. What all do we get from these? We get this, okay. So essentially you're getting like almost every world legacy card, right? To the goal. Yeah, you're getting a lot of world legacy cards off of this. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Your reward, okay. That's not too bad, not too bad. I don't know if this deck is actually like worth it though, so it may not be anything. You know, whatever, whatever. We're actually gonna raid KC, and then just call it a day. We're gonna call it a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it for now. I don't know if I'll have another deck ready. I might. It'll probably just 
but we will probably be doing Pokemon tomorrow because there's a limitless tour that I do want to enter. I have no idea what team I want to run yet, so that's a little, it's a little rough. It's a little rough, but we'll find a team. We'll find a team. <laughs> and other than that, I don't know. If you guys have any uh, ideas of what I should use, it can be anything, no matter how goofy, and we can play it off of that. It should be pretty fun. Yep, it's gonna raid KC. He's playing a Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, yo. Oh, KC underscore VGC auction right there. I love to see it. Which I heard there's a new Mario Kart game coming out. This is pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah, peace, guys. Peace. 